Now this is so exciting. A groundbreaking project to treat Parkinson's disease is getting close to moving from lab research to actual therapy. Eight Parkinson's patients are actually raising money for this stem cell therapy research in partnership with Scripps Institute and healthcare workers from Scripps Clinic. UT biotechnology reporter Bradley Fikes is here now with more along with nurse practitioner Sherry Gold and patient Cassandra Peters. Welcome everybody to Primetime. Thank, Thank you so much for being here and congratulations. Thank so exciting. You. So for, let's start with you Bradley. Tell us a little about the story and how you got involved. Well I had heard about this from Jean Loring who's been researching stem cells for years and there is uh, a relatively new kind of stem cell called induced pluripotent stem cells which is, can be produced from your skin cells and turn into cells that are like embryonic stem cells but are not and they can become almost any kind of the cell in the body. In this case, the researchers wanted to take these cells and turn them into the brain cells that are being destroyed in Parkinson's patients and then transplant them into their brains which will relieve their symptoms uh, they hope for many years. This has never been done before and because it's so new and because the therapy might be quite expensive, the patients are raising the money for their own therapy and, and Scripps Clinic and Scripps Research Institute are collaborating to help them. That's so exciting, mm -hmm. taking uh, control of your own life. Absolutely. Instead of life control you. And from what I understand, the medicine uh, to help treat Parkinson's, your body kind of adapts to it, so it doesn't... Well, it does, but I think it, it loses its efficiency over right. time. So the more you take, the longer you take it, the less it works. Well, so exciting. So you're raising money. Tell the viewers how you're raising money to get this therapy and to complete their research. Sherry? Well, we're doing a number of things. Actually, Summit for Stem Cell, which is the name of our organization, started in uh, 2010 with an idea of needing to raise about $300,000 to get this research st started between Dr. Hauser and uh, Dr. Jean Loring. And uh, so the idea came into my mind about c climbing Mount Kilimanjaro with mm -hmm. Parkinson's patients, um, both to bring awareness as well as funds to the project. So we uh, summited all 16 of us in Kilimanjaro and raised at that point three hundred and fifty thousand dollars wow. and so we have now raised about four hundred and seventy five thousand dollars but still need another two point five million dollars to complete the research so that is one one way we've done parties for Parkinson's we've done galas we've done um, just individual um, we have people that actually sponsor us and different levels of different climbs on the mountains. We're wow. doing Everest in October. Wow. Again, with, with Parkinson's patients from all over the United States that's and possibly incredible. some in Europe. Yeah. So you're going to, how high will you be going on Everest? Everest will be going to base camp, so that's about 17,500, so <laughs> but a three week hike. So a big challenge for a person without Parkinson's, much less a person with Parkinson's disease. So incredible, so fascinating that everybody's come together to raise yeah. money. You still have to raise a lot of money. What is your biggest challenge, aside from Mount Everest? <laughs> well, I, I just want to interject that uh, on the climb up Kilimanjaro, yeah. there was three Parkinson's patients, and all three of them made it to the summit. You are kidding me. No, of the 16 in the group, not everyone made it, but the three patients that had PD That's managed to get up that mountain. So impressive. Yeah really was. And it's you mentioned amazing. Dr. Hauser and that's Melissa Hauser who's a neurologist who is uh, heading the medical research part of this she a is. and she's your neurologist right? She is yes. What she was it like when you were diagnosed? Tell me about that again. Uh, well um, this was way back in 2005. Um, We've been trying to figure this disease out for about three years and when I went in to see Dr. Hauser she said I'm afraid we can't hem and haw anymore. This, this really is Parkinson's. And of course, that was extremely unsettling. But in the same breath, she said to me, you will have a stem cell procedure in your lifetime. I wow. just don't know how soon. So I'm making her stick to her word. That's right. I love it. I love it. So, to, so the viewers can really understand what you went through. What were your first symptoms? When they, uh, they didn't diagnose you right away, obviously it took years. No, like it took said. quite a while. It took about three, four years. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately we had menopause in the mix. <laughs> oh, lovely. Yeah, that made it a little bit tougher. But um, the first symptoms were actually non-motor symptoms. They were more horrible depression. Um, I never suffered that in my life. And, and I'm sure they were blaming that on hormones at the time. Yeah, they tried. Yeah. They tried. And my, my husband thankfully said, you know, there's more going on here than, than, than just menopause. 
So when I went in to see Dr. Hauser, she said, um, you know, we'll, we'll, it'll take us a while to figure out exactly what this is. Um, but she didn't give up, and I'm not going to give up. And I'm so happy for you that there, this treatment is available, and I know it's you know innovative, and it is. you know with every year they're going to find new breakthroughs. But right now the, the issue is raising the money. You need the money. Correct. What's the next step? How can we help? Um, well, by getting actually the word out, by having people out in in the public here that we need sponsors for our climb. Check in the website. Any uh, we're going to pull that website up too in a minute, but go great. ahead. Yeah, so Summit for Stem Cell um, dot org is our website. So we have a lot of people. We have a board of about 20 people. Half of those people on our board have Parkinson's disease. Mm. So everyone, individually, between friends, family, going to companies, acquaintances, colleagues, you know, whether it's $100 or $100,000, it has been just that type of fundraising that has gotten us to where we are right now. And viewers. I mean, how can you not, how your heart strings have, are pulling, there's the website. Please donate whatever you can. It's going to a good cause. You're helping, you're helping lives, many lives. And this is so groundbreaking. And it's so exciting. And Taylor, I will have a story on this in Sunday's paper too. And if you want to look at it online, it will be under the biotech section. Uh, I'm going to be telling more about that program and, and just uh, giving more details about help this project is, is working. Taylor, what's what's so groundbreaking about this is that it's 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 stem cell, yes, but it's not embryonic stem cell. It's non-controversial. Absolutely, which is fantastic. We, that bypasses the entire moral bruja, you know, that you have surrounding the embryonic uh, version of stem cells. And I have, you know, a very small little pinprick of a of a, a badge of honor where they took my my skin cells and are now going to transform them first in, into those pluripotent stem cells mm -hmm. and from there into the dopamine neurons. And when does this happen? Because we would like, we would love to be there. Oh, sweetie, I, I wish it could happen today. But obviously, we have to raise the funds. Um, with There's eight stem, stem cell lines growing, and they need to be shepherded and mm -hmm. watched over Harvested. and mm -hmm. encouraged. And we are going to follow the story step by step, right, Bradley? Exactly. And we will support you. And we thank you so much for coming on Primetime. So exciting, exciting times. Absolutely. Thank you very much for the opportunity.